Hi, my name is Alex Gomez, CEO of June Case. Today we will be presenting you the assembly of the June Pro Case. Now I just wanted to say a special thank you to all of our viewers that are out there, all of our backers that have been patiently waiting over, the, over a year for this case to come out. And let me tell you, the finish, the quality of the case that we're about to put together today is fabulous. It, re it really looks good and the quality is something that we haven't seen out there in the PC case market, or not that I've seen anyway. So just want to say thank you to everyone uh, for coming in and watching the assembly today. And I just wanted to let everyone know that, you know, this case can be put together from, from pretty much from every part. We don't have rivets, uh, everything's screwed on. And, uh, you know, you can build this uh, yourself if you wish to. And, you, and if you want, you can disassemble this if you wish to. So this is a very, uh, it's a very different product out there. Uh, you know, we're using full aluminium here, aluminium uh, that's been sandblasted and anodized. Uh, the exterior being silver and the internals being um, black. And, uh, and on the exterior, we have parts that are from three mil thick to, to eight mil thick. And on the interior, it's, it's very similar as well. Like a lot of the parts are three mil, varying from three mil to, to, to two mil thick. So thank you everyone for coming. I hope we can show you how to put one of these together. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll first start with the side panel. As you can see, this is uh, the side panel of the June Pro case. And there's two of these in the case, one for the, the back, one for the front, or one for the left side, right side. And this is a three millimeter thick aluminum, piece of aluminum. And we have put PEMS in here. So you can uh, screw down some parts. Now, there was a lot of discussion before about this, what to use on how to, uh, you know, clamp this onto the case. And to be honest, uh, this solution was better than what I expected. We created plastic parts with some nice um, clips on each end that are very straight uh, in design and they surface really nicely as well. And what we do here is we pretty much put this into here where the PEMS are slowly and it's a very tight fit and that's it and we just start screwing away now and that's pretty tight do that again for this one Sure, it'll be there. That's pretty tight. And we do it again for this one. And the great thing about this, we were, we were going to actually, originally, we were going to glue these on. Um, but, I mean, these PEMs are so strong um, that uh, we decided that we probably don't need to glue these um, plastic parts onto this uh, piece of aluminium. But what I can say is that the PEMS, they're nearly as good as uh, a weld, really. So, I mean, if anyone's worried about these things coming off or uh, wearing over time, the good thing is, is that you can unscrew this and you can indeed put well get a replacement plastic part and screw another one back on so but we've tested this thoroughly and the plastic here is very good plastic and we believe that this should last you very a very very long time uh, there were a lot of questions ah oh, plastic isn't good and look in my experience 
Um, there's plastic in luxury cars, there's plastic in cars, there's plastic in luxury goods. This is no different. Plastic uh, is more elastic than metal. So the durability of the plastic clip will be a lot, well, what I would say is a lot better than a, a metal one. Uh, the metal one over time will, uh, once it clips, clips, clips into a, into into something, eventually it will form into another shape. Uh, so here we go. I'm just putting this. Don't want to scroll in too tight. Well, tight enough, but. done all right one more okay and that is how we whoops we got one more <laughs> one more I'm not the best screwing person in, on the planet, but, and there you go. And that is solid. I mean, look, I can pick that up. I mean, this is, I mean, if you look at that and I'll show you later how to clip this on, but look at that, magnificent. And then we just clip that on, but these can be taken off and these can be screwed on and it's really very very solid you don't have to worry here guys uh, this will be very very uh, uh, it's, it's, it's very very strong very rigid so there you go there you have it that is the the first piece which is the side panels left or right now the next piece is the front panel the top sorry the top panel and the top panel, pretty much uh, all we do here is we have these pieces that go in, which will be glued in with uh, metal on metal glue. So that will be pretty, this is probably the only part that's not, cannot be taken off, uh, which is this part here. I'm not gonna glue it in this instance, but they sort of glue into there. And then all we do with this piece is really uh, we we put this in, which are the clips. Well, not the clips. The clips go into these into these parts here, and we just we just put that in, and that's it. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two for the side, two two on this side, two on this side for the side panels, and obviously you have the front and back back panel so that's the uh the top panel guys and later we we put on the uh, usb uh, c ports here and and the button but that's pretty much how to assemble uh, this part here which is the top panel okay now for the bottom piece uh, it's pretty much the same we we put this here where it needs to be and just like this is again we put this stud here or in these other places and we just push them in, you know screw them in like that and they go in very nicely these also will be glued on um, yeah and that's pretty much for the uh, the bottom panel oh yeah and this is where the uh the psu will ventilate from so if you have a psu that sort of draw the air in, it will be coming, uh, pushing or pulling from this location. So the PSU will sit around here and that's the bottom piece. And the next part we have here is the front panel for the standard edition. As you can see here, the surfacing on the, is, is beautiful. This is three mils thick, very thick piece of aluminium. And this is how we assemble it. So we created these um, these clips from scratch 
there's nothing else I like it on the market and uh, this uh, really serves as two purpose. One is to protect it from getting scratches. So when we put it in here, it actually protects when you put it on that this doesn't scratch the aluminium on the bottom. So that helps out a great deal. So we put one, two, uh, three. Uh, we did quite a number of clips, but this was the most clever in execution uh, because it serves two purposes. Not only is it a clip that can screw on, uh, clamp onto this, to this front panel, uh, but it also protects the the actual chassis uh, in itself. So. That's really, really good. So, and all you do here is we just, we just screw it on. Make sure they're in the right position. Get it right. Okay. Then we do that again on this side. Oops. I'm not, a, not the best screwing person, but I believe I'm okay at it. <laughs> and the last one is this one here. And and there you have it. And that just clamps on with these really, really good clips. And there you have the front panel, the standard edition front panel. Thank you. Now we have the back panel. As you can see, this is the back panel. Once again, beautiful finish. If you can see that up close, inside and out. And it doesn't matter if you do it that way or that way because it's all, it all fits. And, yep, it fits in nicely. And it just goes like that, or you can do it the other way as well. So it doesn't really matter which, which position you put it, it all fits very nicely. And once again, we just uh, screw this on. Uh, a little bit bored of me screwing, you can fast forward, but nevertheless, this is how you screw it on. Alright, let's put clamp down there. We have another one here. Yeah, and, and when we decided to do this uh, back piece, this is also a plastic piece, but it's very, very nicely done. And uh, we thought, okay, um, I mean, a little plastic's good, uh, but this would be, it wouldn't look too much different from the aluminium. Um, let me just put that in. And it worked out really, really nice. Another one here. Two more. So one thing I love about the June the June Pro case is that you know you really can DIY whatever you want with this. You know, I mean, it's all screwable. So if you want to do your custom whatever, you can do it here because. Everything is screwable. So that's that. And as you can see, it looks really good on this side. And as you put it on, and then on this side, last but not least, we have to put the same clips that we did before with the front panel. Okay. And we really took a different approach on how to build and manufacture one of these. Um, yeah, and 
this part here is a, it's a mixed process of CNC and extrusion. So there is a lot of CNC done to this one. I mean, the big cutout to CNC. So as you can see here, we have the stainless steel bars. I've already put one of, it, one of them on just to save a bit of time. But pretty much this piece here goes in here. As so, this should have already been glued on. I'm just gonna put it on there anyway. And it simply just screw on like this. there's no gap on the top there and it's the same for the bottom as well so just not to block anyone here uh, it's the same as the bottom too so well first I'll take this one out good the same goes for this as well and mind you when we're actually at the assembly line it's not this not this slow it's a lot faster than what I can do see there we've put the uh, the June Pro together with the frame all right now th that's the back so we'll put this first which is now make sure that this part here the thicker part not the thinner part is on the bottom so we just clamp it on like that and the front, and it doesn't matter. It could be this side or that side. And beautifully put on. And of course the, the panel, one of the panels, 
Now, mind you, it does have a guide here, so that can lean against the bottom here. So we just go like this, guide it up a bit. And there you have it. Oh, there you go. Oh, sorry. And there you go. Beautifully put together. And that's it for the uh, for the uh, putting the case together. All right. So as you can see here, we have the motherboard tray, the PSU bracket, and the PSI backplate. And this is a little bit tricky, but not too difficult. So you, the trick is you got to get it in on this angle, coming in here, and then. But at the same time, you've got to get this, this part in, inside here. So it's more like, uh, like that, something like that. Okay. Now the other trick is, is that you need to get this part in here. Then there's this little slip here. So it has to go in like this, put it in between there, that slip hole. too difficult to get in yeah and as I say it's just like that on the angle this one's all lined up yep and then you can just start screwing away I'm not gonna put all the screws on on the motherboard but I'm just gonna put a few key ones here uh, just to make sure it's in place oh, so I'll just make sure this this one is in here then after I finish the video, I'll probably screw it up a little tighter with all the other screw holes. So I'll just put that there. Okay. This part's still loose, so we got to screw this one down with these small screws. Make sure they're clamped in. Now, as you can see, that's really tight there. 
and then we have this this trailer which goes on pretty much goes on top here and it just covers that ugly piece right here so it's just oh, and, oh, before we do that we have to um, do that from the inside So that pretty much, um, that screw under here pretty much ties it in there. Put another one in there. And now that becomes really tight here and sandwiches that together. And we need uh, probably another few more screws over here to put this in place. So we have, we got three over here, and two, three over here, and two up the top. So let's just put that together. screws on but just gives you an idea of what it looks like when it's all put together. So you got that nicely put over there. One more over here. And mind you, I'm, I'm not the fastest assembler, but there you have it. Nice, strong, rigid. I've got to put two screws up there, but that just gives you an idea of how rigid this thing is. Put the two screws up here, which I can probably do now. Um, I make it a little easier. Give people an understanding of the uh, how to put together. How rigid this thing is. Okay. And the last screw over here. Oops. As I said, I'm not the best, world's best screwdriver. pretty strong there but this is very rigid look at that no flex at all 
practically none. Here a little bit because it's a thinner profile, but because we've got the PCI, we've got to uh, go accordingly to the PCI PCI standards, PCI slots, PCI slot standard. But overall, very rigid. So that's how you put the PCI well, PCI backplate uh, PSU and the motherboard together. All right, and we could probably put the uh, hard drive cages. Let's have a look. Uh, we'll do that on the next video, but that's how you do these three uh, together. All right. All right, so pretty much now that we've got the motherboard in there, we're gonna put the extender tray in and simply we just get a screw and We'll go like this. And try to find that screw hole. Just screw it in like that. Maybe make it a little bit longer. Great. Then we can put uh, another one in here. Perfect. And then if we want the hard drive cages, it's, uh, you have two spots. You have one, two here, and three here. So we'll put one in each place. So we'll put one here. come with five anyway so in this demonstration I'm just showing the two places where it's uh, possibly going to be there and mistake and probably a good thing that I made that mistake so I can show you where it is so when you put these in you've got to make sure that this part is on the other side because you have an elevated part here so this part has got to go downwards in so you've got to turn on that side it's flat then it goes down and then in like that So please take note of that. And that's it, and then it's nicely put in there. And the good things as well is that you can put your cable ties here, 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 here. So you can pull them down here. And you can also put them here, here, and all around here. So if you want to route things there and tie them up, you can, and you can also tie them down here as well to make it a nice tidy look. So you can put this whole panel right here or up here, hook, hook, and this whole hook there. And that's the, uh, the hard drive. And all we're really missing now is the, the, uh, the fan, fan bracket and the hard drive cages. And uh, I think we're it. Now for the, uh, the front fan bracket, which you can put a 120, 240 or a 360 uh, and you have the fans here, you can put a, a bigger fan here, two bigger fans. Uh, this normally sits right here, uh, alongside. In this you have a, a shorter side here and a longer side. So this side has to go down and it normally goes in like that. 
Okay, but before you do that, you need to put this part in. And this part, we have to screw it underneath. And this. This L bracket also does the, the hard drive cage as well and make sure it's in place. So we have that, you would put it in here and it should fit really nicely. And then all you gotta do is put one screw at the front and a shorter screw if I can. If not, I'll just find this one. And just one screw right here. And that's it. And you have the, the fan bracket there. That should be, uh, it should be really good. All right. And yeah, so that's how you put the fan bracket in. Last but not least, we have the hard drive cages. So let's start with the small one. So you can put this small one, which goes into the PSU area right here. And there's two screws here you can put this into. So if you wanted to, you could just put it in there and that would be fine. And you can still have the, um, the, the, the extender, the motherboard extender. I'm just going to put one. Oh, we can do two screws. Two screws down there. As you can see, they're pretty tight in there. So that's the the bottom hard drive cage. Uh, then uh, what you can do is you can actually put this extender there, and it's, and it can be and it can work. But if you're going to put the hard drive cage, you really need to take this out, the uh, motherboard extender, and you have two hard drive cages to deal with. Now. These hard drive cages are very easy to assemble. There's two screws there and two screws at the back and they have a few uh, screws over here, one, two over there. So these can click into each other. And also, if you wanted to put a fan there, you could uh, put it right here. So you put your fan on here and you just whack it there. And let me just show you an example what one looks like. And there you go. You probably need two screws here. Let me just grab these two. Uh, And that's how you can have a nice fan on this side. Uh, but if we want to put two of them together, we just go like this. 
And we're just pushing. Oh. Push it in like this side. Simply, you just put it in here. It goes in, it goes in a little tight. And it just fits in like so. It's a little tricky to get this one in. One screw up the top here. Uh, let me get a screw. It's up there. And it's pretty much locked in. Another one in the in the front, just in case. Uh, in here, if you want it, in there, just to lock it on that corner, right here. And that's practically it. And and there you go. And then finally, uh, we can put the other parts on the next video. Now, in this video, we're going to put the final parts together. As you can see, we have a full assembled case. the June Pro case with the hard drive cages. All right, and all we gotta do is we can put some in the back. Beautiful. In the front. guys as you can see here we have it fully assembled from scratch and I hope you've all enjoyed putting that together all right thank you well guys I I hope you enjoyed watching the videos of the assembly of the June Pro case uh, we are very, very close now. And as we announced, we will be shipping in May 2021. Not May 2022, May 2023, no. And we're not, uh, not waiting another 84 years as uh, someone has suggested. <laughs> we will be shipping in May 2021. And we are very happy that uh, we have finally come to uh, closure in, in, in shipping the case. It's been a rough five months in China uh, since I've been here and uh, there's been a lot of testing, a lot of um, uh, renegotiation with contract. It's been a long road. And if everything went towards plan, yeah, we could have done it in, in a month or two. Uh, but, uh, you know, aluminium prices went up. There's a lot of factors that came into play and unfortunately, uh, it, it spanned out to around four, actually around four months. 
but we're here we're about to ship I'm happy I'm really really happy to get this in uh, to your delivered to you in your hands and uh, I hope you're excited too um, so anyway so from me and the June team uh, we all want to say thank you for watching and uh, uh, we'll keep you posted in the in the next update thanks guys see you later